Hello everyone, welcome back. The lovely Miss Michelle joins us for this presentation. Hello everyone. We're looking at new anomalies at a new site I discovered a couple of days ago west of Koblenz. This is in Ahonia Terra. Let's have a look at the original photograph. IRIS took this on the 14th of March 2017 a resolution of close to 50 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the low res black and white. It's rather strange terrain at this site. Located right here, folks. Koblenz is down here to the bottom right. At the time of this video, the high-rise team had not loaded this photograph to Google Earth Mars yet. So that's roughly at 51 degrees, 53 minutes south, 102 degrees, 11 minutes west. And I'll be showing you these anomalies that I found in this photograph. Let's check out the weirdness of these objects. We've got these smaller parts close to the centers of each one of these and they measure approximately 8 to 10 meters across so they are huge folks and there's some of the others we'll have a look at as well that there even looks like a lid or a hatch on that almost square with rounded corners structure strange round object in that slot there We'll also have a look at these huge discs. This is about 12 meters in diameter. This one over here, about 3. But this is rather strange as well. My symmetry and geometry to those discs. And then we'll have a look at these strange protrusions sticking out of these items. This one over here, folks, is 5 meters tall. You can imagine seeing this huge sort of cylinder sticking out of the ground when you're standing next to it. So to start off with, let's have a look at the anomaly highlighted there to the right. And we've got what looks like a partial disc. Must be embedded in the side of this rock. It's about three meters across. And we're looking at the bottom left and the strange anomaly it looks like the number six check out that shape and it has a hole right there in the center of that part and he has one very similar to it doesn't have the hole though but also the strange shape this is from our video Redux Anomalies in Proctor on Mars. And then we're looking at the objects to the right. Check out this symmetry. Almost perfect oval. A hole in it right there. And a small part on the inside. There's that disc. It's about 12 meters across. And the perfect shape says to me, this is likely artificial in nature. Who knows, folks? It's huge. This isn't just a pebble that we'd find and toss into a lake. We are on Earth. These things are massive. We're looking at the anomaly to the bottom. It's got this strange plectrum shape to it. So lots of symmetry and geometry in that shape. And then this raised dome-like part on the top. And that would be about two and a half meters tall. We're looking at the object over there, another one of these strange plectrum shaped objects, all in the center and something small on the inside. Check out the object to the right, and it looks like this has been carved or eroded away, but there's another one of these 
strange disc-like parts on the inside there. We're looking at the protrusion on that object. Check that out, folks. In its center. To the bottom of this image, got these two weird parts on it. This is like more like a flat, almost disc shaped area, and then the spherical object to the top. We've seen arrangements of two similar objects on top of larger ones. And so many other sites on Mars as well. And then you get the triangular depictions and the letter T just doesn't stop. The high strangeness continues. Check out this one. It's about 8 meters across and it's got another one of these circular shapes on the inside right there in the center and zoom in on the bottom part there's another one like it have a look at in a moment it's got this weird almost shell shape to it a layered part on the top that there looks as if it could be open guys there's the other similar one. This is from our video Redux, anomalies east of Newcomb on Mars. We've got like this paneling or layers to it. Check out this piece. Prime example of these smaller parts that look as if they've been placed or machined or made right there in the center of these larger parts let's take a closer look at this again this is more like a dome shape with these small part right there in the center this is another good example what looks like a hatch or a lid hollowed out part here on the inside strange part on top and then the very geometric symmetrical square design with the rounded corners there's that other disc this one's got a strange ridge on it running through the diameter another small very bright part on top of this almost rectangular piece and a triangular part jutting out there then we're looking at the small disc over here to the left it's about three meters across almost perfect circular design or shape we're looking at what looks like a hole or an opening over there, folks. That's about 20 meters across. But like, what looks like a supporting roof. Check that out. Part there on the inside. This is also a very unusual shape. Seen two or three more of these. At other sites on Mars as well. In the part up to the north, another one of these very bright circular shapes. And that there got to be about a meter and a half to two meters tall, right there in the center of that part. And zoom in on that piece over there we straight up into the atmosphere about five meters tall right another one of these objects with two smaller parts on top another one of those plectrum teardrop shapes and then uh, this looks like a rectangular opening to me folks 
and the small disc there at the top is about two meters across and a small dome a spherical object on the top right there we'll zoom in on another prime example of uh, a square or cube slot in it there and a smaller part in the center check that out folks looks almost like a depiction of an eye that part it looks almost sculpted and there's another one like this was similar to this that I found in the past right there folks from Redux Anomalies North of Douglas on Mars also looks like this has been machined away or sculpted away very strange that has the smaller part on the top inside that carved out area this one's got what looks like a little opening on it as well little tube pipe don't know right on let's go down to that site let's zoom out a bit give you some context we have Koblenz over here to the southeast the site we're looking at is right there folks just have a look at those anomalies briefly again similarities just astounding let's have a look at that site just to the north for more of these objects smaller parts on the centers another one of those looks like a triangle depicted on that and that is also quite abundant on Mars another one of these smaller parts and there as well in the center it looks like another lid let's have a look at one or two other sites this is to the east of slabs or blocks in this one check there again folks square object hole there and something partially covering that hole another one of those T shapes square area that seems to be cleared away on the surface that's about 30 by 30 meters in size another T shape depicted there as well as here and this too we've seen these circular designs quite often as well or mini stone hinged not that it is folks but there are so many of these I've shown you in the past one is 65 meters across the arrangement the diameter of the arrangement my friend Saturn Ark actually found that one in uh, I think it was Kanowski another square object with a hole in it there's another circular depiction there and that I would say is about 15 meters across right one more and then you can end this video there's one of these spirals weird disc shape there check at this plectrum shaped object this looks like the hull of a ship very strange part
check there again. Almost the perfect square shape with a smaller square on the top right there in the center and this seems to be sticking out of a hole here on that object. Is that this? Seems to go in there. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching. Take care everybody. We'll see you in the next one soon. Ciao for now.